so in this video we're going to be creating a custom error page uh, for the roles and permission right here we don't want to display this and this is just uh, a video that I feel like I should do because it's not actually in the scope of this tutorial let's just uh, I think it is but for the sake of this video series and the lesson let's just create that so you come over to your resource folder in your view you create a new folder and call this error errors i think it's errors or error uh, we're going to find out in a bit and right here you specify the error code you want to change which is 403 and come over here right here and say 403.blade.php and right here let's just say 403 error for now and let's just refresh this yeah so you can see that custom error page right there and let's just go ahead and design this page and for now i'm not going to do a lot right here I'm just going to extend this layout right here and just extend some. I'm just going to extend this and right here I'm going to remove this. Let's just say for for theory error. So let's just refresh this. So you can see that for theory error, and I want to pull out the error right here. So if we should go over and see, so let's go over and actually get some image. So right here, let's just go to Android.co and let's just find a nice image we can use right here. And let's just see uh, for theory. Uh, no results. Font for for theory. Uh, let's just say permission denied. Yeah. So let's just see this. Uh, this looks good to me. And let's just save this right here. Just click on download PNG for blog and social media. Or we can just say download SVG for projects. So we can do that. So let's just go to save file. So this is the file right here. Let's just go to page info and copy all this. So right here in our project, I just want to bring this out. Let's just paste this right here and let's see that. So I have this uh, actually don't like the size. I actually don't like the size. So let's just do some basic HTML. Let's say test center. And right here let's just do this. And uh, in our code there is a way we can reduce the size. Yeah, so let's just do, let's just do, uh, let's just reduce it to half. That will be 300 and the half of this should be 400 and something, I think. So let's refresh this. Yeah, so we have that image right here. And uh, at the top, we can just say H1 and say you 
don't you do not have access to view this page contact the admin so let's refresh that so you can see how easy it is to create a custom error page and you can do this to any error page 404 500 41 uh any error page you can just come over here and create the error page name and actually do this so that's it guys i'll see you in the next video that's how you can create a custom page